In this particular C3 trig question, we're being asked to express 5 cos x minus 3 sin x in this form here. Uh, the first step for any question of this kind is to express this one uh, and using your sin a plus b cos a plus b formulae. So if over to the right here, we need to expand it. So r cos x plus alpha will be equal to, and if we use the formula sheet, you'll see that this expands to cos x cos alpha. Uh, the sign changes whenever you're expanding cos a plus b, so it'll be minus r sin x sin alpha. Now what we've been asked to do is express this and this in the same way. Um, so what we're basically saying is that 5 cos x minus 3 sin x is equal to this. And if we look carefully at our two expressions, you'll see that 5 is being multiplied by cos x as are r and cos alpha. So 5 equals r cos alpha. Similarly, 3 is being multiplied by sine x. So r sine alpha is being multiplied by uh, sine x. That means that 3 equals r sine alpha. Now, to complete the question, we're going to need to find two things. We're going to need to find r and we're going to need to find alpha. First of all, to find r, what we need to do is take these two expressions here and we're going to square them both and add them together, which will give us r squared cos squared alpha plus r squared sine squared alpha and that will be equal to 5 squared plus 3 squared. Now, if I factorise the r squared out, leaving us with cos squared plus sine squared, which you should recognise as being equal to 1. So that just means we're left with r squared equals 34, and r is the square root of 34. So now we found R. But what we're also going to need to do is find alpha. To do that, we're going to use um, one of our other trig identities. And, and if we divide this by this, we end up with R sine alpha over R cos alpha. And that will be equal to 3 over 5. The R's will cancel and sine divided by cos is tan. That means that alpha will be equal to the inverse tan of 3 over 5. Now before I enter this information to my calculator, if I just look back up at the uh, range of values of alpha we're asked for, you'll see that it's given in radians, given away by the factors from 0 to half pi. In degrees, that would be 0 to 90. So I'm going to turn my calculator into radians and plug that in. And I end up with 0 0.54. And I'm going to write out my whole calculator display. So the examiner's in no doubt about my abilities. 95003. So finally, we have express that as 5 cos x minus 3 sine x and we've discovered that is equal to r which is square root 34 cos x plus alpha which is 0 0.54